thank you and good afternoon. This is a great moment for bicyclists and pedestrians who use one of the most highly trafficked areas in all of San Diego. I'm pleased to be joined today by council members who represent this area. Council Member Scott Sherman and Council Member Lori Zaff, as well as our Public Works Interim Assistant Director, Marnell Gibson, and many community leaders who have made this work possible today. The San Diego River multi-use bicycle and pedestrian pathway is the culmination of a lot of hard work by city officials, by neighborhood residents to transform this corridor for the future. And this is a perfect example of the types of projects that we'll be doing more in the coming years. That's one of the reasons the budget that I just released earlier this month puts such a strong emphasis on boosting our infrastructure spending. You may recall that we talked about directing 50% of the city's new major revenue growth towards street and infrastructure repairs through San Diego's neighborhood. <laughs> I like that group. I'm going to take all of you to City Hall with me for the next month. That's exactly what we're doing in the budget, which directs nearly $22 million in new revenue growth towards infrastructure. And that's in addition to the nearly $300 million we're going to be spending on capital improvement projects throughout the city. That includes street and side rock repairs, park improvements, street lights, fire stations, and maintenance of storm drain and other facilities and new bike paths and pedestrian promenades. That's what we have to do in this city. It's been very, very simple. It's all about making San Diego a better place to live, work, and to enjoy recreation and to play with our families. The San Diego River multi-use bicycle and pedestrian pathway does just that. And it's great to see how this has been transformed with all of the hard work and the determination on a project like this that has been around for years and years. The people said we are going to make this reality as we could continue to connect this pathway, continue to ensuring that San Diegans have a connection to one of our most precious natural resources, the San Diego River. And so I know residents and business of Mission Valley, Fashion Valley, are going to love this wonderful project. And uh, I want to say particularly to everybody that's been very involved in it, the River Park Foundation, we're going to hear from so many other folks. Uh, this has been a team effort, a joint effort. And when we're out here on a day like today, it gives you renewed effort and energy to keep it going and to keep that determination as we're going to see San Diegans and, their fa and our families enjoying this, uh, not only this spring and summer, but literally uh, for years and years to come. And so it's now my pleasure to introduce Council Member Scott Sherman. Council Member Sherman. Thank you, Scott. Well, I don't need to say much more after that. That pretty much covered it up. Um, you know, when I was a kid, this was a, a, a playground for me and my friends. We used to ride our bikes down here. And, and now, finally, after a long period of time, we'll ever be able to see where we can connect the, the ocean with the hills in the back, all through one uh, river park system with a, with a trail along it. You know, the, the, the West Valley and the East Valley have kind of been disconnected for quite a while, and I think it's been about 12 years they've been trying to put this connection through, and it's very, very good to see that it's finally here. And this, this will really lead into the entire concept of the river park system going through here, where you could start at the bay, come along the estuary along a trail, and end up all the way out in Mission Trails and Santee and parts f further east. It'll be a great way to bring a jewel of San Diego back into the forefront, which is out of the San Diego River. Um, there are a few people, though, who need to be thanked for, for making this happen. Uh, San Diego River Park Foundation and its executive director, Rob Hutzel. Where are you, Rob? You know, Rob has been a tireless, tireless champion for the entire River Park, and, and his work is to be commended. Also, San Diego County Bicycle Coalition, Andy Hanshaw. There's Andy. The Mission Valley Planning Group, the San Diego River Conservancy, the Caltrans District 11, and our, at the city, Transportation and Stormwater Department. You know, thank you guys for everything you did to make this, the, this pathway a success. You know, it's, it's the support of the community, which we can see here, support of everybody involved, that finally we get this path built, people can start getting out of their cars and going along the river and realizing the river is an amenity and not just something to be passed over on the freeway. So thank you all very much for being here. And without further ado, my colleague and good friend, Lori Zapp.
Thank you, member, Council Member Scott Sherman. Wow, uh, Rob, this really happened. Yay! <laughs> My first two years on the council, we were working hard to make this happen. Uh, went into council member Sherman's district and today is just one of those glorious days when at government you get to see something come to fruition and we're all out here celebrating it. So uh, this is indeed a great day for those of us who love to ride bikes and uh, like to take our families out uh, on the weekend and, and enjoy uh, all of this beautiful weather in San Diego. So um, I have worked very closely uh, over the years with the San Diego County Bicycle Coalition. And uh, this organization actually goes back to 1987, the current executive director, uh, Andy Hanshaw, who is here with us today. And this organization provides a lot of needed services, uh, training, education, trying to get people out on their uh, bikes, both for pleasure, uh, enjoyment, just everyday riding, getting to work. I do know of people who actually uh, ride to work along this uh, trail from OB into Mission Valley. And so so uh, this is really necessary as well, not just for enjoyment, but also for people to get to work. Um, I have been thrilled to help provide leadership and support over the last few years on the council. For example, uh, the City Bicycle Master Plan, which was updated and calls for a major expansion of our bicycle network. Um, I will be working hard to continue to make that happen. We voted recently on the bike share program, Deco Bike, so we need uh, for our tourists to come to town, get the maps, and be able to take off and ride safely. And I was really uh, happy to help uh, uh, fund the, the recent Ciclo Diaz in PB where uh, they shut down Garnett on March 30th and people got to just ride and walk. That was awesome. Uh, riding down the middle of Garnett. That was great on a bike. I got to do that and uh, I, I would like to do more of it uh, safely. Um, I am committed, committed to making San Diego the most, uh, the leading city, the most bike friendly city in America. That's what I would love to do. And now I will turn over the podium to our public Work Department's Interim Assistant Director, Marnell Gibson. Thank you. The title is a little bit of a mouthful, but thank you, Council Member Zapp. It, we always all have heard the saying of it takes a village, and certainly every time we come to one of these events, I reflect back and look at how it actually takes a city. It takes everybody's involvement to see these projects come to fruition. So I would like to acknowledge my staff who have helped to carry this project along. We see it in paper for years and so it's fabulous to come out in here and see it actually be built and then watch it be utilized also. So I have my senior civil engineer Brad Johnson and the associate engineers Mark Giandoni and Alex Slayman and Nazi Manzuri also had a, a role to play in this. We also have collaboration with our client departments in seeing these come to fruition. So these projects always start as an idea of some time from the community and the, those who are supporting the bicycle as well as the San Diego River. So with that, uh, I'd also like to thank our Park and Rec staff. Robin Shiflett had a great role in this, as well as our Transportation and Stormwater Department. So I look at this project and I think, wow, it's great. It's multimodal. It has stormwater quality BMPs. It overcame a huge hurdle of going underneath a major freeway. And it's going to be a fabulous invitation for tourism as well as locals to enjoy this fabulous gem of the San Diego River. And with that, I would like to turn it over to Rob Hutzel. Thank you. Wow, what a great day. Um, I'm Rob Hutzel. I'm the executive director of the San Diego River Park Foundation. And I can tell you the very day this project started it was in July 2002. And in that day, on that day, the San Diego River Coalition identified this project as a key gap in the San Diego River Park vision. And for those that know the vision, it's a 52 mile long systems of parks and trails and open spaces all along this beautiful San Diego River. This is a key gap and I, I want to thank the mayor, certainly his staff, the council members and all of their staff. It was really a team effort coming together and as well as the landowners. Fashion Valley uh, was helpful as well and Caltrans and many other groups and the San Diego Bicycle Coalition took a lead and there were so many people coming together and it's great to celebrate success, isn't it? This is a great day. 
And I don't think I've seen a more beautiful bike path, by the way. This is a gorgeous bike path. And the San Diego River Trail is a multi-purpose trail and path that will traverse 17 and a half miles of the San Diego River. And this is a key part of it. There are more sections going on. We need your support. And I just want to thank everybody for their help, their patience, and their energy to get this completed. So thank you very much.